Our final inductee today is the second coach that I mentioned. Uh, coach Giles, Jeff Giles, was here an awful long time and did a tremendous job. Our seventh and final inductee into the Minneapolis Sports Hall of Fame class of 2016 is our second coach to win the honor. He is Jeff Giles, being inducted for his participation as a wrestling coach from 1987 to 88 to 2013-14. Jeff was the head wrestling coach at MHS for 27 years while teaching physical education. He was an excellent builder of character in the athletes that he coached. Jeff took over a wrestling program at MHS that had enjoyed a degree of success in its initial 17 years, but was floundering, having endured five successive seasons with a losing record. In Jeff's first season as head coach, the ship was righted again as the Lions posted a 10 and four duels record. His wrestling teams went on to win a dazzling 276 duel matches while losing just 110. His squads posted an overall winning percentage of 71.5% and were even better in league action with a 101 to 31 mark for a winning percentage of 76.5%. His grapplers won nine league titles. He was twice chosen the class 321A state coach of the year, both in 2002 and 2014. He coached 10 state champions, three of which enjoyed perfect undefeated seasons. Jeff also was an assistant coach in track and football and was later the head football coach in his final three years at MHS. Jeff graduated from Maysville High School in Missouri in 1981 and was a three-year starter on the wrestling team at Southwest Missouri State, graduating from there in 1987. The USD 239 community and the entire Kansas wrestling community was extremely shocked and saddened when Jeff passed away suddenly on February 11, 2014. Jeff not only reestablished the MHS Lions wrestling program during his coaching tenure, but he left a solid foundation on which it continues to flourish. His athletes will always remember the qualities of character that he instilled in their lives. Following is a portion of an interview with Coach Giles in December 2013. This interview was typical of Coach in the ways he always spoke highly of his athletes and shows how he utilized leaders among his athletes to instill good work habits in others, which consequently led to his success as a coach. A second clip is of a celebration of his 200th dual win. So uh, tell us about some of your leaders on the squad. Well, it's, it's pretty exciting, actually. We, we're really young. You know, we have, uh, uh, you know, we have two seniors on the team. Uh, Jacob Griffith and, and Gideon Root, okay. and they are fantastic kids. You know, they are the hardest workers, and they are, they are very astute to what they're being taught. They know everything that they've been taught. And, uh, you know, when you have two seniors like that in your wrestling room that know how to drill and know what they're doing and know the, all the, the things that we expect out of them, everybody just starts following that. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and, they, and the, so those two guys do a great job, Jacob Griffith and Gideon Roof. And then there's so much young talent there that uh, whenever they've got those mentors telling them, hey, this is how we do this, that young talent really shows up. Coach of the Year. In commemoration of the 200th victory, I would like to send Coach Jeff. 
Jeff Giles and his family with a small token of our appreciation. Eric Shoup, 
who was at the state track meet his daughters going for two to three gold medals today. My son Brent, who lives in Oklahoma, or excuse me, Kansas City. My son-in-law, Oliver Nielsen, also lives in Kansas City. My niece, who lives in Lawrence, was a former um, compliance officer at the University of Kansas Sports Department. Tony Martin, my nephew, who runs Martin Electric. Joe Perry, the retired Kansas City banker. Linda Smith, a uh, inductee from last year. Ryan Leal, also last year. Mark Allison. And I think that's it. Is that what you're on? Now, about that, one of those had many of those ties and kind of don't. It's kind of the way I wanted it because everybody will have their own opinions about things, and if you know a candidate, your opinions may be different than somebody you've ever heard of. So I wanted that kind of diversity on, on the committee. And we, uh, we took in, this year we took in Ryan, Linda, and Mark, who were all inducted last year. And Drew, you're certainly entitled to be on it starting next year if you'd like to be. Okay. So we'll be 17 strong next year. And uh, again, I'm thinking that I cut it off at 20. Dale and I provide the information, and the selection committee does the voting. Dale and I don't vote. I want to make sure it's that stayed separate as well. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Very good. Thanks for coming. And stay safe.